Welcome to another training session. In today's session, we are going to learn how we can make a program for a parking lot. On the entry gate of the car parking lot, there is a car sensor I0.0 to detect the car. There is a barrier at the entry gate to stop the passage of cars. And this barrier is operated by the PLC output Q0.0. When the car comes at the entry door and the sensor I0.0 sends the car, the PLC output Q0.0 turns on for 5 seconds and barrier will stay up for 5 seconds. Once the 5 seconds are over and car is no longer in front of the sensor I0.0, the PLC output Q0.0 turns off and barrier come down and block the passage again. As you can see that each parking space has a sensor and each sensor is connected at the individual PLC input. The sensor for the first parking space is connected at I0.1, input of the PLC. And the sensor for the last parking space is connected at I1.2, input of the PLC. There is a display on the top of the parking lot which is showing the remaining empty parking lot spaces. Now we have to make a program in the PLC in such a way that it will track each parking lot if there is a car inside the parking space or not. And the PLC program should keep track of the empty parking space numbers and we will show the number of the available spaces on the display. As the car leaves the parking space, the available space number should be updated immediately by the PLC program. On the exit door, we have installed a car sensor I1.3. When the car comes in front of the sensor I1.3, the PLC logic turn on the barrier Q0.1 for 5 seconds. After 5 seconds, if there is no longer car in front of the sensor I1.3, it will turn off the barrier Q0.1 and the barrier will come again at the down position and block the exit door. Now let's go to the TR portal software and see how we can make the ladder logic for the today's project. In the network number one, we have a logic for the car entry. Whenever the car comes in front of the sensor I1.3, it will hold on the output Q0.0 through its own normal open contact. In parallel, it will start the five second timer. Once the 5 seconds are over and there is no car in front of the sensor I0.0, it will turn on the VTAM 1.0, indicate that the car has entered safely into the parking lot. The normal close contact of this VTAM 1.0 and it will turn off the barrier Q0.0. Next we will go to the network number 3. It will keep track of the parking lot. When the car is parked inside the parking lot number 1, the sensor I0.1 turn on and on the rising edge of the sensor the move commands get activated. It will move a 1 in the memory word 30 to indicate that there is a car inside the parking lot number 1. Next as the car leaves the parking lot 1 on the negative edge of the sensor I0.1 it will move 0 in the memory word 30 to indicate that there is no longer car inside the parking lot number one. Next when the car is parked inside the parking lot number two, the sensor I0.2 turns on and on the rising edge of the sensor, move command gets activated. It will move one in the memory word 32 to indicate that there is a car inside the parking lot number two. Next as the car leaves the parking lot two on the negative edge of the sensor I0.2, it will move 0 in the memory word 32 to indicate that there is no longer car inside the parking lot number 2. As you can see that we have written the same logic for all 10 parking spaces. If there is a car inside the parking space, the sensor on the positive edge will push 1 into the corresponding word. When the car left the parking space on the negative edge of the sensor, the move command will push 0 in the corresponding memory word. Next, if we come down to the network number 4, here we have used the add instruction to sum all data register for the parking lots and save the result in the memory word 20. This will be the current car count inside the parking lot. Next, in the network number 5, we have used the subtract instruction. 
to subtract the current car count memory word 20 from 10 as we have 10 parking spaces. The result will be the total available empty spaces. The result will be stored in the memory word 50. So this is the program for the today's project. Next we will upload the project in the PLC and monitor the ladder logic. As the car comes in front of the sensor I0.0 installed at the entry gate, the entry barrier output Q0.0 latch on. In the parallel 5 second timer also starts. And the car is no longer in front of the sensor I0.0, it will turn on the bit M1.0. The normal close contact of this bit M1.0 opens and turn off the entry barrier Q0.0 output. Next in the network number 3, as the car is parked inside the parking lot number 1, the sensor I0.1 turns on. On the rising edge of the sensor, move command moves 1 in the memory word 30. Meanwhile, the second car is also entering the parking lot. As this car is parked in the second parking space, it turns on the sensor I0.1. On the rising edge, move command moves 1 in the memory word 32 to indicate the presence of the car in the second parking space. Meanwhile, more cars are coming inside and getting parked inside the parking spaces. If we come down to the network number 4, here you can see that the add instruction is adding all the memory words corresponding to the parking spaces and save the result correct number of parked car in the memory word 20. Right now 4 cars are parked, so the counter also shows the value of 4. As more cars are being parked inside the parking lot, the memory word 20 is also updating continuously. Now the parking lot is full, all 10 spaces are full and 0 parking spaces are available. Now as the car in the parking lot number 6 leaves, the sensor I0.6 and on the falling edge move command moves 0 in the memory word 40. If we come down in the network number 4 you can see that now memory word 40 for the parking space number 6 is 0 and the current counter is 9. As this car comes near to the sensor I0.3, I1.3 at the exit barrier output Q0.1 latch on and it starts 5 second timer. Once the timer is over and the car is no longer in front of the exit sensor I1.3, it turns on the bit M1.1 and its normal close contact opens and turn off the barrier Q0.1 and barrier comes down again. as another car from the parking space number 3 left. The memory word 34 for this parking space becomes 0 and the current car counter reduces to 8. Now another car from the parking space number 8 left. The memory word 44 for this parking space becomes 0 and the current car counter reduces to 7. As you can see that now the car goes inside the parking and get parked inside the parking space number 6. The memory word 40 for this parking space updated to 1 and the current car counter increases to 8. Now another car goes inside the parking and get parked inside the parking lot number 8. The memory word 44 for the parking space number 8 updated to 1 and the current car counter increases to 9. So this is how we can make a program to keep track of the parking lot and I hope you like today's video do share like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials. Till next time take care and goodbye.